When I was 17, I went by the name Ashley instead of Aisha because I hated what came with that name, religion, culture, and expectations. I grew up in a pious Muslim family, which you would assume would have made me as pious as them, but that wasn't the case. My life revolved around me lying to my parents about completing my daily prayers, reading the Qur'an, and fasting. They thought I was a great Muslim. Any chance I had to make my parents think I was as devout to Islam as they were, I took it. And they were proud of me. My aunt was very religious and tried to force Islam upon me, but I was never genuinely convinced. My prayers consisted of me just standing there and daydreaming. Wondering how mumbling a bunch of Arabic words made me a good Muslim. Every day was the same routine over and over again. Meaningless small talk and gossip took up a big portion of my life. I've heard my parents say, when you talk about someone behind their back, it's as if you're eating their flesh. I've always thought they were just overthinking it. I mean, how else was I supposed to keep my friends around? I never paid attention to my family or tried to form a relationship with them. I found them annoying and I could never justify why. One night, I sat down to watch Gossip Girl. When I turned on the TV, the news channel was on, and what I saw left me with mixed feelings. Three promising young lives cut short way too soon, shot in what police are calling a dispute over a parking space. The question remains, however, was this a hate crime? A grieving father says yes. I felt horrible, but I didn't want to because I never associated myself with Muslims anyways. Later on, I opened up my Facebook to find a notification on the same tragic incident from my aunt. Growing up in America has been such a blessing and although in some ways I do stand out, such yes. as you know the hijab, the, yes. the head covering, um, there's still so many ways that I feel so embedded in the fabric that is our culture and here we're all one. When I heard Yusuf speak, I was ashamed. I felt like I had so many opportunities to do good in the community while proudly representing my religion. If she could do it, so could I. This is when I decided I was going to turn my life around. I could lose my life at any moment, and I had never thought this deep, but I wasn't ready to leave this world before I had formed a connection with my creator. I realized the smallest things, like giving my family love and attention, were an important asset to being a genuine believer. I didn't want to waste my time with the wrong people anymore. I removed myself from toxic environments and have never felt so content. I began my own journey with the Quran, and this time, I not only read it, but also understood it. There was so much wisdom in this book I realized I had missed out on. I started praying on my own with no reminders. What's better is I didn't do it because my dad was walking by, nor because my aunt was forcing it upon me, but because my creator ordered me to and allowed me to see the countless benefits behind his command. At this point, I had completely changed who I was from within, and I wanted that to reflect from the outside. I was proud of Islam, proud of its teachings, I was so convinced that no one knew best for me than my creator himself. I wanted to represent Islam, and so I began wearing the hijab. Alhamdulillah. All the honesty behind my actions allowed me to strengthen my taqwa, something I never would have experienced without genuine intentions to begin this reformation of my life. The thing about sincerity is that nobody knows that it's there except for you and Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. My dad may or may not see me reading the Quran, but it's not the act that matters, rather my intention that motivated me to pick up the Quran in the first place. The source that fuels me to do a certain deed has the most impact in determining my sincerity. 
When the fuel is stimulated from within, the fuel will never run out because you'll always know why you started. Always by your side, inshallah, inshallah, inshallah.